I've got received a leaflet when I was going to school um, just to say um, that Bolton at home are doing some um, taster sessions and I was a stay at home mum at the time. My husband was a truck driver so he was out a lot um, and I'd always been into like voluntary work or college or something before um, or working and um, I, I felt like I needed something for me so I thought I'll go along to these sessions um, get out of the house a bit and see what's going on. I just thought I have to do it, you know what I mean? I have to push myself even if I feel uncomfortable because it gets it boosts your confidence then, you know what I mean? And especially when you used to be in the house and you used to be with the kids mm. and not really going out. You need that boost. Mm. And I've been through a lot in my home life for ups and downs and stuff and the group's really supportive. Um, and just coming in and just having that break, even if we're not doing the drama, or, you know, it's such a relaxed atmosphere and, and trusting and you can talk to everyone and it's really open. Mm. And it's really nice to have that. Um, we did creative writing sessions um, and while we were doing the creative writing, we were told it's a lot easier to write about things that you know. Um, and we wanted to do a play um, and to write about these characters. Um, and a lot of us have had um, personal experience of domestic violence, so we could very easily draw on our own experiences. Mm. And I was attending the Freedom Project at the time as well, um, which helps with a lot of information and other people's experiences and stuff. Mm. Um, so we just felt like we had a lot of knowledge around that and personal experiences, mm. so it was a lot easier to create a play about that. Um, plus, I think it was something that it was all because we'd been through it. It's close to our hearts, you know. So mm. we didn't want to see other people go through it, or if we could help or support other people, or just make people aware, you know, that that's a good thing. Just so that um, people understand as well, that not just that it was hitting her, um, but that you can see behind it that there's, there's more to it. Because people don't necessarily take people seriously or listen to them when they're being abused. I notice that it's abuse unless they've got physical marks, but there's a lot more to it. And the emo emotional and the mental abuse, like a bruise will fade in a matter of weeks, but those emotional and mental scars, it takes a lot longer to get over. And I think that's the main thing about abuse. You know, it's not just a punch or a slap. It's all the mental and physical stuff behind it. Yeah. So I think we needed to get that right to show the build up to physical abuse and to show what people go through and like people question why would somebody put up with that. Um, but uh, it shows them then that they've been not that far down and mm -hmm. you know they haven't got the emotional strength to stand up to them, which counts for a lot. Mm -hmm. There was a lady in the audience, um, I can't remember where she said she works, but she was all about she wanted a lot of um, fundraising and things like that to support things which I totally understand and that's something that we want to look at. Um, but mainly we wanted to raise awareness. Um, but then, like she was saying about volunteers, um, and she, she, she didn't really seem to support volunteers that works with um, people that have suffered domestic abuse. But as someone that suffered domestic abuse and I went to the Freedom Project and there's a lady there that was a volunteer and then she later on became paid staff and you never notice the difference and I don't think that you can buy passion, you know what I mean? I think whether you're being paid or whether you're a volunteer, it's irrelevant because if you haven't got that, you know, passion and respect and, and that thirst for the knowledge and, and for wanting to help people, being on a payroll is not going to buy that. So I think it, it's about somehow sipping out the people that want to help and, and have got that passion rather than thinking if people are paid they're going to do a better job because that's not necessarily you know how it'll be yes. and, like you can come in and if you've had a really good day tell people and if you've had a really crap day and, and it's, they've got a really positive attitude towards it so like if you've come in and you, you've all had a really bad time so instead of like just Everybody coming in and you think, oh, I'll keep this to myself or whatever. It's so open, you feel like you can talk more, but then they find a way to support you, which is really good. Mm. When I used to go into Spelton Town Centre, like, I used to go to toddler groups at the library with kids and to the museum and stuff like that. And um, the Oxygen's across the road, I used to think, oh, it looks lovely. Um, but I never thought it'd be a place that I'd go. I thought it was really, like, it was far posh people and it really looked market and somewhere lovely, but probably that wasn't for me, you mm. know. Um, 
and then when we started going to that skin for plates, I really enjoyed it and it was a really nice evening out but it is for everybody, anybody that wants a nice evening um, or to enjoy a theatre or whatever and I found it really nice going as a mum and like um, going to prom so I didn't take the kids um, and having that sitting and having a drink and going watching a nice play and you know a bit of adult time mm. I really I enjoyed it more than like just going for a meal or going to the cinema I think I got a lot more out of it mm. um, and I think it should be shown that it's more open and that everyone's welcome because it doesn't seem that way and unless you know are you lucky enough like us to, for people to come from the that's going to say why not come along or from Bolton at home to have that link mm. and you to be part of it you wouldn't know mm. so um, I think it does need to be more open because it is for everybody yeah. I really liked um, Journey's End and Early One Morning and it's something like if I'd have watched on telly and a war film would have come on I'd have probably been like oh I'm flipped over mm. um, but I really really enjoyed it and it got me really interested in that in, in that sort of thing, and I went out and bought books along that theme and, and stuff. So um, I think it's nice, you know, that it opens your mind to more things because you go and you watch the play and you have to sort of see it through. Mm. So, whereas now we're like, it's too easy to flip the telly over because yeah. you're there, you know, and then you, you you have to think more and think of your own views on things rather than just thinking, oh, what bother with that? This community, um, I don't think like. But it, like years ago, you would have had like your auntie living on the street, or your best friend, and your mum would live around the corner or next door or whatever. And you just don't have that now. But we have a real sense of community. Like <clears throat> I can send my children to the youth club, or um, I can give them a little bit more freedom than I would have in other places I've lived because of, of that sense of community. And it's nice to walk down the street and, and say hi to people. And, it builds your confidence and sense of security where you're living, knowing other people. Um, and then I think for like people that are staying at home a lot, and like for this group, it's so diverse, it's all different people from all different walks of life, but then we come together and we probably wouldn't in other circumstances, and we really get on. Mm -hmm. And it boosts all our confidence and gives us, you know, like other social circles and stuff, and it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And you just wouldn't have that otherwise. I'd probably been stuck at home, you know, cleaning up on my own and being fed up and instead I'm getting out and doing something and, and, and having a better quality of life for it. Mm. I think f more than anything it's like pushed our boundaries and built our confidence because um, <coughs> a lot of other crafts as well you, you, you can do things and even though you're in a group you feel like you're on your own mm -hmm. where I think we've all been able to participate in, because we've had different views or you know different experiences um, and when it all comes together, it's it's been really good. And just feel like at first we wouldn't have done creative writing, and we wouldn't have never thought doing drama or anything mm. like that. Mm. It is a poor area, and um, I think people are struggling. I think you can't just. It's better to acknowledge it than just mm. brush over it, you know. Mm. Um, and plus, it's good that that. It is acknowledged because then um, a lot of the community groups and everything can access funding because of that. So, and then the fact that groups like this bring support. So, and then after back of that, we've had like the nut shop where people can go and, and swap clothes and stuff like that. And then we have the lunches there and stuff. Sometimes it's stigmatised and people do make comments, but I think because there's such a sense of community and it doesn't feel like that a lot of the time, that you have that sense of support and you might get the odd comment that you have to brush up, but. Otherwise, it just feels like, you know, you come in and you be me, your friends, and, you know, you, the kids are getting dinner, or they can bring and swap the clothes, or somebody might say, oh, we've just had these clothes in, you know, do you think these would be nice for me? And it doesn't feel like you come in and asking for charity. Yeah. You know, it feels like friends supporting and helping each other, which is what you should do. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I think yeah. we're constantly building on, on everything that we've done. And from where we were, like, when we started 18 months ago to now, we would have never thought we'd right. have been here. Yeah. So um, I think anything can happen, and hopefully, yeah. you know, maybe more people will join, um, which will bring, you know, more views to the group and stuff. So obviously, if more people join, the group adapts anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I think we'll just see how it goes. But I'm glad yeah. and I hope it carries on for a long time, because I know it's done, but personally for me, you know, it's a big part of my life and something I really value. Yeah.